Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about hemoflagellates. Uh, before goes to the uh, hemoflagellates uh, in human being, uh, there are so many flagellates. Uh, it's causing diseases. Uh, according to the location, we can divide into three parts. Uh, uh, the flagellate they are divided into three according to the location uh, first one intestinal drug flagellate example giardia lamblia um, other one urogenital drug flagellate example trichomonas vaginalis these two are pathogens it causes um, diseases to the human third one blood and tissue um, flagellates uh, example we call hemoflagellates uh, examples are trypanosoma species and leishmania species then class uh, characteristic features uh, we can see in the uh, when we examining genes stain dot and dash appearance we can see inside the uh, macrophage uh, here dot is the nucleus um, dash is the uh, kinetoplast right uh, we can go through the picture uh, in coming slides uh, and other thing in, in the when we consider the hemoflagellate it contains single flagellum if more than one flagellum flagella is present we call flagella so here in these species, uh, especially the trypanosoma and leishmania, only one flagellum is available for the motility. Uh, so here when we look at the life cycle, there are so many uh, morphological stages. Uh, actually, there are four amestigot form promastigot form, epimastigot form and tripomastigot form. So here all when we consider the hemoflagellates there are four but each and every species trypanosoma, leishmania uh, and again trypanosoma cruzi, trypanosoma brucei, leishmania, uh, leishmania species so the according to the species sometimes the morphological stage uh, stages may vary right then when we consider the amestigot form here you can see the picture uh, actually the amestigot is present inside the human uh, when we consider the size of the amestigot form it is nearly 3 micrometer intracellular form uh, intracellular form mean they can survive inside the cell especially in the macrophage in human here no flagellum uh, we already discussed it is it contain uh, one flagellum any of this but in the case of amestigot form uh, they do not contain the flagellum that's why we call amestigot form and other thing they contain a single nucleus and the kinetoplast so it contained only one nucleus but in the case of um, hemoflagellate any of the morphology you can see only one nucleus and the kinetoplast one right and they can replicate uh, within the cell of the reticular endothelial system so when you consider the morphology the of the amestigot form it is oval uh, shape and the nucleus should be at the center and kinetoplasm is one side so actually anterior part uh, the nucleus pink color cytoplasm blue color kinetoplasm pink or red color uh, so you should consider when you are drawing the uh, picture and other thing if they ask to draw uh, the the amst god form or ld uh, other name we call ld body so if they ask to uh, draw and label the amst god form you should draw the 
uh, MST code form inside the microfile show so you have to consider the MST code form plus uh, the macrophage you have to draw and label so here you can see the different stages of the gel. first picture explaining the MST code form inside the macrophage the dark purple color it indicate like this one is the Mm, nucleus of the macrophage here the these arrow marks you can see the mm, MST code form this is cytoplasm of the mm, macrophage so second picture also same right here also same uh, thing we are explaining here the third one is the MST code form uh, normally we can see in, in the culture uh, and the um, vector right uh, and here the fifth picture fifth you can see both MST code form and the promised code form uh, the blue color one you can arrow marks it's indicate the MST code form the black arrow mark in the promised code form now we will consider the promised code form it is nearly uh, 15 to 35 micrometer fusiform that is it's elongated right that's why we call fusiform and it's contained flagellum at anterior part and nucleus at center you can see in, uh, red color or purple color the cytoplasm blue color and kinetoplast anteriorly located right in here there from the kinetoplast flagellum uh, will arise right that means coming from the kinetoplast the flagellum coming from the kinetoplast so you have to remember here the the flagellum the anterior part right and uh, this is the extracellular motile form here they have the uh, flagellum so they can move by using flagellum and this is extra extracellular form that means uh, they can seen inside in the plasma not inside the cell right uh, so when you drawing you have to consider uh, the flagellum at anterior side best thing you have to label this is anterior this is posterior right you have to label this is posterior so you have to label this one uh, and other thing this is cytoplasm So when you are labeling you have to consider these things uh, okay now we will move next one epimestic code form uh, other thing the 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 promestic code form you can see in, uh, in the insect and the culture we cannot see inside the human uh, this is the in the case of leishmania species uh, the promestic code form is the infective stage uh, when the vector the bite the human this promestic code form enter into the human body and it is immediately converted into amestic code form that means uh, the promestic code form engulfed by the phagocytosis that means mac uh, macrophage and inside immediately taken by the macrophage and this promestic code become a MST code form right so normally in human we can see uh, MST code form uh, in human in leishmania species in promestic code form we can see in inside the uh, vector we call vector uh, sandfly uh, or phlebotomus argentipus right epimestic code form uh, 
this also a 15 to 35 micrometer the length it is also fusiform and it contain only one flagellum the nucleus again at center red color uh, and flagellum also red color the kinetoplast also red color uh, so uh, the the kinetoplast in front of the nucleus so here this is the anterior part this is the posterior part so when you are drawing you have to consider anterior posterior part the uh, kinetoplast in front of the nucleus um, and uh, here you can see the undulating membrane that mean from the kinetoplast the flagellum arising until the body we ca we call uh, the uh, undulating me membrane uh, the free parts uh, the free part of the flagellum we call flagellum right so uh, these are the things you should know and the other thing these also extracellular motile form so here you when if they ask to draw the epithelial ep epimastigoid form so you have to consider the cytoplasm color and the nucleus color undulating membrane color kinetoplast color so you should remember uh, then we will move uh, tripomastigoid form uh, this also 15 to 35 micrometer fusiform organism same like the flagellum is posterior actually um, Uh, and nucleus at center kinetoplast posterior right that, that means flagellum coming uh, uh, we can see in the uh, anterior part the fl flagellum arising from posterior but you have to remember that point uh, undulating membrane we can see all over the body extended to the length of the body and this also extracellular form this is the infective stage in uh, trypanosoma species. So, uh, normally in trypanosoma species, if they ask related questions, they ask to draw the, uh, the infective form or the forms present in the blood sample in humans. So, you have to draw. Uh, you, when you are drawing you have to consider the morphological features actual features this is a, the very nice picture of the trypomastigoid uh, form uh, so the we will discuss the posterior you have to mention posterior part in anterior part so in all the cases promastigoid epimastigoid and trypomastigoid flagellum present anterior part but the arising the flagellum arising uh, uh, is differ in the case of epi uh, promastigoid form flagellum is present in anterior and the kinetoplast is present in anterior so uh, that the uh, epimastigoid form the flagellum present in anterior but it is arising at the center right of the body but in the case of uh, the trypomastigoid form, the flagellum is present anterior, but it is arising from posterior. And that's why uh, we can see in the undulating membrane in all over the body or length of the body. So here, that's thing you have to consider and labeling undulating membrane pink or red color. Uh, kinetoplast also red color and in front of the kinetoplast you can see in exonum the at the center you can see the nucleus red or purple or pink color and, the, and you can see in, in especially trypomastigoid form you can see in the uh, volutine granule inside the cytoplasm and you have to label anteriorly flagellum one flagellum and the cytoplasm is the uh, blue color light blue color you have to label cytoplasm also right. 
here you can see the morphological differences the a first one a mastigoid form here you can see compare with other three it is differ it is oval shape but uh, other three are um, fusiform right here um, flagellum arise from anterior part uh, right and here epimastigoid flagellum arise uh, Uh, from middle but in the case of ripamastigoid the flagellum arise uh, from the posterior part so this is anterior part this is posterior here also this is anterior this is posterior anterior posterior so you can remember the differences morphological differences of the um, stages right this is the the different forms uh, with the labeling uh, so we already discussed uh, in a mastigoid form only we can see in kinetoplast nucleus and the cytoplasm but uh, here promastigoid form ex in extra we can see in the flagellum uh, and epimastigoid uh, at the middle we can see in the kinetoplast but other things we and uh, in epimastic code we can see in the undulating mem the membrane half of the body but tripomastic code form uh, undulating membrane full of the body that mean length of the body and extra thing volutine granule only volutine granule present in the tripomastic code form you remember blue color right So, in the case of Leishmaniasis, so here uh, in Sri Lanka, it is emerging disease in Sri Lanka, uh, in Leishmania, caused Leishmaniasis, so this is caused by the, in Sri Lanka, Leishmania Donavani. Uh, so, in Leishmania Donavani, uh, produce cutaneous Leishmaniasis in Sri Lanka. Mm right and leishmaniasis uh, here more than 20 species identified worldwide uh, here vector is the uh, adult female sand fly uh, especially there are two uh, vector species responsible to transmit the leishmania species one is the leucemia the one is the plobotomous species in the case of Leishmania Donavani and the Leishmania Tropica in Sri Lanka transmitted by uh, Plebatamus species but uh, Leishmania um, Brasiliensis transmitted by Leucemia so uh, when you consider uh, the mode of transmission the vector you have to mention both names so in the case of vector we can see the promastigoid form uh, but not uh, amastigoid form only in when we consider leishmania species there are two forms one is the amastigoid form other one is the promastigoid form uh, promastigoid form is the infective stage it is present in the sand fly uh, and when we consider human the promise infective stage is a promastigoid form when the sand fly biting the promastigoid enter into the human body and immediately en engulfed by the macrophage and it will convert it into a mastigoid form right right other things when we consider the host uh, uh, in vector you can see promastigoid form in host you can see the uh, amastigoid form uh, in intracellular forms right and other thing no uh, the amastigoid forms are non-motile uh, any of the host uh, human dog and any other vertebrate are the host 
the transmission of the leishmania species by biting of the infected sand fly this is the main mode of the transmission right one two other one uh, sometimes by needle prick or blood transfusion so the as a medical laboratory scientist you should uh, inoculated by second one needle uh, pricking uh, sometimes in the blood transfusion sometimes uh, the patients the persons may get the leishmania species because normally in blood bake we are not checking the leishmania species only we are checking the parasite the malaria only right another thing sexual transmitted also possible and congenital transmission that means mother to fetus there is a chance to transmit so uh, there are four modes of transmission one is main mainly the transmission through the uh, biting of sand fly especially female sand fly other thing uh, needle prick, uh, pricking other one blood transfusion uh, sexual trans, uh, transmission and the congenital transmission so this is already we discussed promestigot form and amestigot form in leishmania species we can observe two forms right when we consider the life cycle the infected sand fly take blood meal when they take blood meal the promestigot form enter into the human right then promestigot form Cytes by the macrophage and the promestigot form transfer into amestigot form inside the macrophage. Uh, for examples of the macrophage monocytes in bloods, amestigot multiply in the cell in various tissue, including macrophage, uh, pathogenic stages, and diagnostic stages. So, in here, amestigot form is the pathogenic stage and the diagnostic stage inside the macrophage sand fly takes the blood meal again in just the macrophage which are containing amestigot form and then this amestigot form transfer into the um, motile promestigot form in vector and this divide in um, mid cut and of the vector sand fly and it is migrated to mouth part that means saliva uh, when they take second biting these promestigot form transfer into the the host right this is the life cycle the promestigot form is the infective stage it is present in the vector and culture so sand fly is the factor in the case of leishmania uh, in the case of leishmania there are three species are medically important leishmania tropica leishmania jonavani leishmania brasiliensis in all three species the sand fly is the vector um, and other one other form is the amestigot form it is present in the host right this is the life cycle uh, this is the life cycle inside the, in the insect sand fly uh, that means uh, when uh, they take blood uh, if it is infected uh, uh, sand fly it is transferred the uh, promestigot form this promestigot form in human or host it is uh, converted into amestigot form then second time the sand fly when they take the blood meal the, this amestigot form transfer into the into the sand fly and it become a promestigot form this is the life cycle uh, the sand fly species we can divide already we discussed two species Phlebotomous species uh, and uh, leucemia. Uh, 
uh, that means old world mean the this phlebotum is transmitted the especially leishmania javanavani and leishmania tropica uh, leishmania transmitted uh, leish, uh, the leishmania brasiliensis right we already discussed this uh, more and more right and uh, clinical features so we have to consider according to the clinical features we can divide into three cutaneous leishmaniasis this is affected the skin mucocutaneous leishmaniasis affect the skin and mucous membrane especially nasal and oral mucosa other one is the third one uh, the visceral leishmaniasis this is internal organ example liver spleen right this is the common clinical feature right so according to the clinical feature we can divide into three cutaneous leishmaniasis mucocutaneous leishmaniasis and visceral leishmaniasis cutaneous leishmaniasis uh, so habitat of the parasite normally skin tissue uh, lymph nodes and the macrophages so if you know the habitat only we can the identify the specimen right so sometimes when you exam they may ask the specimen possible specimen so if you know where the parasite is present in cutaneous leishmaniasis then only you can guess the specimen so skin biopsy uh, limb node aspirate or biopsies and other right so cutaneous leishmaniasis this is the how it's uh, produce the cutaneous leishmaniasis so caused by here you should know the the species leishmania tropica leishmania major leishmania Ethiopica, uh, Leishmania infantum. Uh, so here, sometimes in your exam, if they ask Leishmania related questions, uh, so they sometimes they will ask uh, the uh, name to O3 uh, parasite. If it is belong to the same genus, so you should remember Leishmania tropica, Leishmania major, which are produced cutaneous Leishmaniasis. If they ask cutaneous related questions you should consider these things right then mucocutaneous leishmaniasis habitat skin and the mucous membrane then another thing uh, the nasal and oral mucosa also you can see so these are the specimen if you want to check the mucocutaneous leishmaniasis that means leishmania brasiliensis Right here, caused by uh, Brasiliensis and Leishmania Ethiopica. So, you have to remember the medically important in our syllabus. This only the parasite. So, remember. These are the areas. Here you can see the area where the Leishmania Brasiliensis affects. right visceral leishmaniasis uh, visceral leishmaniasis habitat where it is present we can see in blood liver spleen bone marrow um, hepato and spleen right uh, so we can see the uh, enlarged liver and the spleen right so these are the area you can see the visceral leishmaniasis visceral leishmaniasis is caused by Leishmania Donovani. Right. Classification of the Leishmaniasis according to the um, uh, geographical distribution, we can divide into two: old world, old world, and new world. Old world mean Asia, Europe, and Africa. You can see new world and American continents. Uh, other one. 
uh, four important species that cause diseases in humans so we have to consider these four normally they are producing uh, leishmaniasis in human one is leishmania donovani uh, it's produced visceral leishmaniasis or color azar second one leishmania brasiliensis it produces the uh, mucocutaneous leishmaniasis leishmania tropica or leishmania uh, major it's produced the cutaneous leishmaniasis but in the case of sri lanka Leishmania donovani is the known to cause cutaneous leishmaniasis. So, if they ask in Sri Lankan population relevant questions, so uh, in here in Sri Lanka there is no the visceral leishmaniasis. Only we can observe the cutaneous leishmaniasis, which is produced by Leishmania donovani main parasite other one is the leishmania tropica right so you have to remember this one normally the cutaneous leishmaniasis produced by leishmania donovani in sri lanka you have to remember that one but in other countries leishmania donovani produce the visceral leishmaniasis so diagnosis uh, normally we can use um, Cutaneous leishmaniasis and mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. We can use the smear, slit skin smear, punch biopsy, and needle aspirates. We can use, but in the case of Sri Lanka, cutaneous leishmania, leishmaniasis caused by the leishmania donovani. So, in Sri Lanka, you can collect slit smear, uh, punch biopsy, or needle aspirate for the identification of leishmania donovani. But other countries, uh, cutaneous leishmaniasis produced by leishmania tropica or major, mucocutaneous produced by um, leishmania brasiliensis. Visceral leishmaniasis uh, excluding Sri Lanka, that, uh, but other countries you can see in the visceral leishmaniasis. So, bone marrow, spleen aspirate, you can take and needle. Uh, the other one uh, lymph node aspirate liver aspirate so other things uh, peripheral blood and digestive mucosa are also possible in visceral leishmaniasis so diagnosis normally direct diagnosis microscopically we have to demonstrate the AMS code form uh, so in the case of cutaneous leishmaniasis AMS form we can see in the skin lesions visceral leishmaniasis especially the specimen spleen or bone marrow or limb node aspirates or blood sometimes and if you use you can see the ms code form uh, uh, in by using the gimsa staining right and other thing other one the culture in vitro culture by using NNN media indirect method sometimes you can use uh, or detect they or demonstrate the antibody uh, by using ELISA or IFA or IHA or whatever the method and sometimes you can use the direct method the PCR molecular study also possible right this is how the uh, lesion is taken and how to prepare the slides and these things I think no need this one um, laboratory diagnosis another thing a molecular study we can do for this an animal inoculation also possible to diagnose many species then prevention uh, so to prevent the by uh, biting of the vector so avoid scrap jungle so good normally the vectors present in the jungle area avoid to go that area so uh, if you want to avoid the biting so we had to wearing a full covered cloth right and 
you can use the bed net which are impregnated with the insecticides or you can use the insect repellents so sometimes you can take the uh, drugs right but uh, there is no vaccine available in world to prevent the leishmania species so second one vector and reservoir control so here uh, we have to think about the vectors here the adult bite first one biting of adult prevent the biting of adult second one vectors uh, again the vector and the, the controlling so cleaning of the forest around the human settlement so we are the human being is present in that forest area we have to clean and indoor in residuals spray of uh, so in in house uh, we can apply the insecticide so it will die and while reservoir control and sand, sand fly control so sand fly control we have to um, identify the place we are the larval stage we are they lay egg uh, we, we have to identify the place and we have to destroy that places uh, then we can control the vector other thing uh, diagnosis and treatment of the patient so we have to identify the patient and we have to treat the patient because they are the source of infection and if identify any uh, the number of the patient in a specific area we can control by using the the community control right so here the we are the leishmania species distributed in sri lanka so then other one is the trypanosomiasis two clinical type of diseases so the trypanosoma species they produce two type of diseases one is african type of sleeping sickness second one american type uh, sleeping sickness we call sagas disease if they ask the clinical the 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 disease caused by the trypanosoma species in the case of first one you have to tell african sleeping sickness second one you can tell, tell the american sleeping sickness or best thing sagas disease that is the best answer sagas disease african type cause sleeping sickness this is caused by two species of parasitic protozoans so when we consider the trypanosoma they are the protozoan parasite so when we consider the african type sleeping sickness this is the disease caused by the trypanosoma species right one of the species especially trypanosoma brucei it is produce the african sleeping sickness right mm, again the according to the sub species the trypanosoma brucei we can divide into two trypanosoma brucei gambiensis and second one trypanosoma brucei rhodocinus so these two sub species are morphologically identical so by using morphology we cannot divide into we cannot divide these two uh, trypanosoma brucei sub species can only be differentiated by their different biological biochemical and molecular characteristics so if we want to differentiate gambians and the rodentia we have to go for the biological studies and the biochemical and molecular characterization by using the morphology we cannot differentiate the sleeping sickness is the vector borne diseases so these also vector borne disease that mean it is this disease transmitted by the vector following the biting of the uh, sets of fly belong to the genus glossina so here also female um, zets of fly is the responsible vector this is transmit the african sleeping sickness the scientific name glossina so you have to remember 
sometimes if they ask the vector of these parasites so female infected female sexy fly genus glossina or sometimes if they ask uh, what is the mode of main mode of transmission the biting of female infected uh, sexy fly biting of sexy fly inside the bracket you had to mention the uh, genus name glossina species so this is the life cycle um, of the african trypanosomiasis so here you can see two forms one is the trypomestic coat form and the epimestic coat form in human you can see the trypomestic coat form and uh, in other uh, the vector and the other rodents you can see the um, actually the vector in vector you can see the epimestic coat form right a uh, life cycle similar like a leishmania species right so when the glossina species or sexy fly when they biting the human for the blood meal the, the blood human blood containing the trypomestic coat form this trypomestic coat form enter into the vector it is migrated to the mid gut and it become a um, epimestic coat form this epimestic coat form further modify and it is developed into again um, metacyclic trypomestic coat then this infected vector again uh, bite the human this the infected states transmitted to the human this is the life cycle that this is the human cycle again first thing the vector when they take the blood meal the infected stage enters to the human so what is the infective stage metacyclic trypomestic coat form so it is when that such a female infected female sexy uh, fly when they take blood meal this the infective stage metacyclic trypomestic coat form enter into the human body so this is extracellular parasite so uh, we can see in the plasma freely then we, they can move using flagella then it is uh, enter into the various tissues right a limb you know, um, csf uh, like that enter into there and it become the, the morphologically they are changing they are uh, morphologically similar but the, the, the form is somewhat different right so again it become a epimestic coat form right this is the the, the picture of the trypomestic coat form hmm. uh, they are present outside uh, so here uh, leishmania brasiliensis we can see uh, s shape normally s shape we can see s o w normally s shape uh, when we consider the size of this the when if they ask to draw and label the the infective stage or the the state diagnostic stage of the trypanosoma brucei you should consider the morphology the right a shape normally very large compare with normal rbc actually this is two times of the uh, diameter of the uh, red cell right very large compare with crossy right american trypanosomiasis this is a zoonotic disease caused by um, trypanosoma crossy uh, so this is also a zoonotic disease uh, this is trans, uh, caused by the american trypanosomiasis caused by trypanosoma crossy the disease american trypanosomiasis we call the sagas disease if they ask the the this trypanosoma cruci the disease condition what is the disease condition best thing you have to name this sagas disease right 
the main form of the transmission to the man in endemic area is following the bite of blood sucking buck so here the vector is the buck so rod, uh, family rodividae right tradivit buck or kissing buck or pyatomine buck these are the uh, different names for the bucks this is buck is the main vector so mode of transmission when we consider blood transfusion first thing uh, uh, here the when we have to consider in the case of trypanosoma brucei the sets fly biting when they are biting the infective stage enter into the human body but in the case of american trypanosomias is not like that but when they take blood and same time uh, if they present in the human body they uh, shared at the feces right the feces contain the infective state so this uh, uh, infective state that would mean metacyclic trypanosome records uh, the if any wound and any damage is present in our body it is enter through that area right wound or injuries if it is present when they uh, near the feces uh, when they shedding so this metacyclic trypanosomiasis or form moving and it is enter into the wounded area or injured area in the human and it is enter into the blood stream right so other mode of transmission uh, blood transfusion organ transplantation congenital blood transmission and accidentally exposed in the laboratory so as a medical laboratory scientist so you have to uh, consider your precautions before uh, handling the laboratory specimen so this is the life cycle in human so uh, the metacyclic trypanosomiasis or form in buck feces deposited on skull is skin so when uh, buck also they need the blood meal to develop their eggs so when they take blood meal here both male and female uh, normally they can transmit the um, diseases so that time when they taking blood or when they present in the human body they will shed at the feces there is these feces containing the the infective stage we call metacyclic trypanosomiasis this trap in bite fracture that mean if your skin can skin uh, contain any wound or damaged area these uh, the a uh, metacyclic trypanosomiasis code form enter into the blood stream immediately these the metacyclic uh, trypanosomiasis code form engulfed by the macrophage it become a mystical form so in human uh, trypanosoma cruzi you can see a mystical form but in the case of trypanosoma brucei you cannot see the a mystical form right remember that right then it is uh, goes to the limb nodes in limb nodes this amestigot form or macrophage uh, again it become a morphological changes it become a uh, trypanostigot form right again this trypanostigot form taken by the uh, vector actually this is not a in this is we call trypanostic cord form right this is we call trypanostic cord form this is not the infected to human if we want to infect it, there are some morphol morphologic the, the modification it is happen in the vector right remember that one uh, so we um, so again it is enter into the vector these and there are some modification then only it will infect you right diagnosis 
acute phase uh, isolation of the parasite in blood and the limb node aspirate so here you can use the blood and the limb node for the identification right that the trypanosticot stage of the parasite is identified either wet film or the genes are staining thick or thin blood film so here you can use wet film directly drop of one drop of blood uh, you by using that you can observe the motility because they have a flagellum they can move among the red cell so you can easily uh, you can observe or otherwise you can prepare the thick or thin film by using that you can try it and you can use the stains limbs are stain or the leishmania staining uh, you can observe the morphological features that mean extracellular forms or sometimes you can use the culture normally in an immediate so in the case of leishmania species in the case of trypanosoma species you can use culture the culture media is n n n media no need what is n right no, only you know in you can enough the triple n in capital right so sometimes you can use animal inoculation for the identification or in the case of trypanosoma cruzi uh, you can use other one molecular study and uh, in all the cases leishmania species Panasoma brucei, Panasoma cruzi, you can use the molecular diagnosis. But in the case of Panasoma cruzi, this one cruzi, you can use Panasoma cruzi. You can use uh, the special diagnostic method, snow diagnosis, snow diagnosis. So, what is snow diagnosis? So, snow diagnosis means uh, if you suspected any patient ha person have the trypanosoma cruzi, so we take the blood or specimen from that suspected patient and we have to culture into the vector. What is the vector here? Bug. So, uh, we can inoculate it into the bug and we have to wait sometimes a uh, few days and again we have to take that bark inoculated bark and we have to cut uh, section cutting and we can observe the midgut of the uh, vector whether there is any stages is present or not so specifically we can use no diagnosis uh, for the identification of trypanosoma cruzi but not for the brucey okay remember this one and chronic stages you can use the normally serologically you can identify antigen antibody right this is the trypanosoma brucey and cruzi differences if they ask to draw the diagnostic stage or the peripheral blood film appearance so you have to remember this one trypanosoma cruzi normally c shape trypanosoma brucey a shape normally so you have to remember that one and when you consider this one this is size compare with size larger compare with one size is larger and when we consider the red cell size it is one red cell size right but here not like that this is length is uh, two times larger right remember this one mm. so when you are drawing trypanosoma coat form you have to draw if it is cruzy c shape it is brucey you have to draw like this right so you have to remember and the color when we consider the color of the these things we already discussed but uh, the this is the this mark is kinetoplast right anterior posterior this is the nucleus this is kinetoplast this is cytoplasm here you can see the undulating membrane here you can see the flagellum right 
so uh, you have to label and here also you can see the volutine granule uh, so you can remember that one right right here we can use this one so this is the blood picture the prevention again you have to think uh, the biting control vector control and the individual treatment so you have to um, think about and you have to try it right another thing you have to consider the mode of transmission how it is transmit so you can control that way so control of the breeding side of the vector and use the use of the insecticide so if they ask a question you have to explain one by one uh, possible uh, the prevention methods treatment of human cases to reduce the transmission of to the vector so if infected persons are the source of infection so if we control them as we can prevent the transmission and the avoiding insect by that mean actually biting of uh, buck so we have to wear the long protective clothes or you can use screen bed net or insect insect repellents you can use or you have to clean the uh, your house uh, frequently these are the method you can prevent the uh, vector control the biting of vector so this is the blood picture of the trypanosoma cruzi trypanosoma brucei uh, that's all about thank you